<clears throat> Welcome back, guys. It's the beginning of a brand new day. And today we are going to be talking about AI. Now, first, I need to decide whether I want to go in the nether for this or get some gravel for my city. Now, I know two times ago I said I was going to go in the nether and I was going to wait for you guys. So, I guess that's what we're going to do first. Anyways, so um, I wanted to talk about AI because technology is one of my favorite things to talk about. And recently, um, <clears throat> Obviously, the latest latest thing that everyone's been talking about is AI, so I figured, oh wow, that that's pretty interesting. I like talking about that. Anyways, so AI has obviously grown really fast <laughs> as of recently. It's gone from like a, a novel, funny, like generating image thing to like some insane chat bot that like can do everything that you've ever wanted to do in your entire career. And I, I think that's pretty cool, but like pretty concerning actually. Um, wow, it's really dark in here. Wow, I've never been to the nether in beta. This is quite scary, actually. Well, and it's AI has grown really fast recently, and <clears throat> I honestly think it's just going to keep growing. There's nothing going to stop it, but I, I, I don't think it's so much of a bad thing, really. I think this growth of technology is really good. This is, like, similar to, like, the Industrial Revolution, but instead of, like, I mean, not, like, you know what I mean? Like that that amount of progression in technology. We're, we're going to have some AI revolution. And it's going to be insane. AI is pretty, like, I wouldn't say controversial, but like, there's definitely the stances that people take on it. I I think it's, it's pretty concerning, obviously. I think that's what it, the part of the title I'm going to name it is, like concerning. But there is some good things to it. Not... First of all, I think that it's amazing for just generating ideas. And like, I use it all the time for like, say I don't know what to name like my song or something. So I like put punch in chat GPT like, what's a good, what are good words to portray like this feeling here that I'm thinking of or like this thing I'm thinking of. And it, it does pretty good because it helps me like form ideas and stuff. On the other side, there's a difference, there's a fine difference between stealing and generating ideas. I think it's pretty clear from just straight up plagiarism and <clears throat> generating like some inspiration, but like there is some like gray points, I guess, which there's like, you can't really, I mean, it's not like you can't tell, but it's kind of like, you know what I mean? Like it's gray. No, but another good thing I think of is quickly performing some like medial task. Like, say you want to like figure out what this word means. I mean, I guess you could use Google, yeah, but like you could also just like oh, AI, boom. Like, what what does this word mean in this context, maybe, or something like similar to that. But it's like it's really good for like little things like that. I think. Okay, so here's the thing, right? Google recently has been, I don't know if it's just me, but I think Google has been lacking really hard. Not only have the searches been kind of like iffy recently, but they implemented like their Gemini AI and it's, it's quite frankly terrible. Like it, I never have accurate information like ever um, in, in that AI thing for some reasons. I know you've probably seen the memes. Maybe I'll put one up right now, but like, it's like, what do I do if I want to like hurt myself and it's like jump off the Golden Gate Bridge or something outrageous like that? So I think um, ChatGPT could actually be um, a pretty, or like any chat by AI, I guess, could be a, a pretty cool. Um, oh my God, I have gravel. This is exactly what I need. Because so I think it'd be a, a pretty cool like um, substitute for Google. I wouldn't say like perfect substitute, but you know what I mean? Like you could just ask it to define things or like look up stuff. Especially now that like, more of them are getting web integration where like they could search the internet not one that's a little scary because you know what the internet is it's full of liars <clears throat> but two vastly expands the possibility of what like ai could do i'm doing so many hand motions right now and you can't see it but i mean like being able to access the internet is huge all right so like some obviously a dog there's dogs who have bones i need bones i need to give lucky his his brother you know what let's take our dog out i'm never taking my dog out <clears throat> anyways um so obviously there are some bad things about 
Where's the sun? Oh, perfect. There's obviously there's some bad things about AI, and I know one of them is the stealing. So like what I was saying earlier, but it's not just stealing like plagiarism. I mean, okay. When you think stealing, you think like oh, or at least when I think stealing, I think like oh, like st- stealing their um, the, like an essay or something that someone's pr- possibly written. But um, they like. Also, the image generation is based off of data of other people's artwork. So it's like kind of like, again, one of those gray areas where it's like, oh, are you stealing people's art now? Because you're like you're sourcing other people's stuff to generate new stuff. So you're like you're kind of stealing art. But also like since it does have data sets and, and huge stuff, you probably are like um, stealing someone's content at some point. Like it's not like this is coming out of nowhere. Let's go. Okay, all right. One shot, one shot. Oh. All right, let's go. I have two dogs now. This would be my guard dog for the, I'll build him a house out here by the nether portal. He'll guard me from the nether. Another bad thing is not quite of a bad thing. I think it's it's getting a little too good, like scarily good. Uh, I, I don't know much. I think ChatGPT has been kind of weird recently. Oh, Minecraft music. How lovely. But I think... Why is this so loud? I don't know. I think... um. I saw Claude AI. I don't know about ChatGPT because I don't know. ChatGPT is kind of hit or miss for me. It was like at first the novel of it was like, oh my god, it's amazing. But then it's like, eh, is it really amazing? <clears throat> but um, I left all my materials in the other chest. But uh, sorry. <clears throat> yeah. Um, the AI Claude AI I saw was getting scarily good at like writing code and stuff and I was <clears throat> I know I'm trying to get into software development because I love making I just love computers like I already I said I love technology so but um that that Claude AI is getting scarily good at making things accurate things very fast so maybe it's getting too good and it might be too, like I don't, I don't really think it's there's some jobs it could probably take like easily but for the most part, I think we're like safe, especially because the human touch is like pretty important. But it is it is getting concerningly good. The last thing I well here actually before I talk about like in my thoughts on, on the individual like chat bots, I've seen the AI now makes music and that's pretty scary because like I make music and stuff. Now I don't think that the AI music could really replace anything that humans could do. Like I said, I think it needs that human touch, but seeing like generating an entire, like you say like, oh, I want a a pop song in the style of Taylor Swift talking about beer bottles and champagne or something like random and how fast it generates something like pretty accurate to what you're asking for. It's just a little scary, but honestly, like, yeah, it's scary, but that's one of the things I'd expect that, yeah, we should be fine. Like, musicians obviously aren't going to be run out of business. And if they are, then that's actually kind of sad because you're letting, like, basically other people's music just be funneled in and recycled something new. But, like, just going to be all plain and unoriginal and stuff like that. Another thing I've seen is, um, like sound bites and stuff. Yeah, actually, let's build this path all the way. Oh, this new this gravel looks interesting, doesn't it? Let me see. What does this look like? Um, not good. I guess I think we should build it out of logs instead. But <clears throat> I've seen like this AI start generating. Like sound clips, like if you, oh right, there's no sideways logs, is there? I forgot about that. Man, it's been a while. Shoot, all right, I guess we use planks. But um, I've seen them like generate sound bites and stuff, where it's like um, okay, I want like a hammer, like a cartoonish hammer sound right here, and then it would generate it. So that is probably okay because it's like two seconds and it's like something silly, and if you really need like a specific sound. We really want like, oh man, I really wish I had a hammer bonking rubber in a cavern sound effect. 
then yeah, that, that's pretty nice to get it instantly, but like bigger audio generated stuff is a little bit concerning, but I don't really think it's gonna replace any like musicians or I mean maybe because I know some AI I've obviously um seen some AI being used to like auto mix and master your stuff <clears throat> for your like songs and stuff. I don't I don't think they can replace audio engineers, but like I don't know, I've heard it's pretty good. I guess we'll see really where it all goes. Yeah, as for each of the bots themselves, personally, um, the one I have the most experience with is ChatGPT because I've, when that first came out, like I've had Dally too, right? And I just looked at Dally earlier and realized that they don't like offer, um, like you can't do, you can't use Dally too anymore. I thought that was Copstone. You have to use like the new ChatGPT plus Dali 3 or something like that. And personally, I think that one, that's terrible because now they're making you pay for it, which, and it was previously free. So, and, but, um, two, here, let's build this out a bit. I, I think, um, OpenAI, like the people that made this, are, are having themselves a bit of a field day, like charging people for AI. And I've seen them like, attempting to not like um yeah kind of like kind of like stop competition from arising and stuff like that and it seems like they're trying to hold like a monopoly on ai which is a little bit concerning because like i feel like ai is like you'd have a lot of power if you'd like control the ai and stuff but i think that's also their argument i'm not sure i'm not as informed as i uh, could be on this matter so Bear with me here, but I think, um, anyways, yeah, I've, I've had chat GPT, I think the, the longest. And like I said, at first it was like pretty like, wow, it like it, it, it could talk back to me like a, like a person. But now that like, that's kind of, um, worn off, it's kind of like, I wouldn't say it's like falling behind, but it's like one of the solid competitors out there, right? But I've never seen like um I don't know, it's like never seen it in such of like a mid state. Like it's literally mid. Not to be like have poor vocabulary or anything. But it's just kind of alright right now. And I know like GPT four O came out, which is okay. All of this I've that I've been talking about has been in the perspective of a free user. Cause I know you can pay to have um the chat GPT plus that I was talking about. But the chat GPT plus like it's twenty dollars a month and I'm not gonna lie. I I was considering it because I do like AI and stuff. But it's just like it's too much for me. Like I don't know how often I really use AI. It's kind of for me it's kinda of like something, oh I need like a generate idea real quick. And the free chat GPT four O tokens they give me is kind of like enough for me, I guess. Here. Because we're talking about AI, we're gonna call this dog um, call him Claude. That's an actual name. Claude's house. Perfect. Yeah, ChatGPT is. It's. I think it's like it's like solid. I guess because it's like been here for literally forever, like since the beginning. But I've seen some clips of other stuff. And they do perform like around the same, if not better, than ChatGPT does. And like I was talking about earlier, the. The Claude, I don't know much about Claude, even though I just named it the dog after it. That portal is so loud. Yeah, um, the Claude AI is actually uh, pretty good from what I've seen. I'm just gonna make it look a bit woody in here, but I still wanna keep like the aesthetic. Oops. It's gonna look bad, isn't it? It's alright. <clears throat> yeah, um,. It, it performs pretty well. I know I've seen like some people do like kind of like they would put the bots in Minecraft and compare all of them together and it'd be kind of funny. Just, I don't remember the results, but it was entertaining. You should um, look that up if, you, if you're interested. But um, the one I think by far is the worst and it's definitely not biased at all is the Google Gemini. I hate it. Not only is like the actual one just 
kind of like it misses the mark but like i'm telling you man the the search stuff they add i know it probably needs work but you'd figure or you'd figure that they would improve it like if it needs work they wouldn't release it right so it, it's pretty um it's pretty interesting those results that they give you it's never seemed to help me i've always have to like double check just in case because half the time the information is just plain wrong you know what i'm saying but um yeah that's like kind of i mean there's like the bing one i think but like does anybody really like all right no one uses bing why why is bing's ai gonna like change anything like no one's gonna use it i think who knows maybe i'm wrong maybe there's like everyone's like what what you don't use bing it's like the new thing i've, I've always been using bing something like that but um this looks like a mess and i kind of like it so i'm gonna keep it oh maybe i add some fences <clears throat> anyways yeah I, there's all the other ones out there um maybe i need to look into it more but i should yeah kind of interests me so maybe I, maybe i should look into it but i guess we'll we'll see time goes on like something big will come out and it'll i'll know you know we will we'll know you both whoever you are and yeah let's get claude in his new house his new like cozy woody mess i swear it's not it's not bad claude it's stylistic stylistic all right guys um i'll see you tomorrow and have a good life